want a red, a blue, yellow for your beginner, two red and a yellow for your intermediate, or two red and a blue for your advanced or for guys that are feeling a bit stronger today. Cool. Okay, once you're set up with those springs, grab your ring. Let's have a light on our carriages and we'll start with a bit of a stretch. So we'll just start off with a nice big deep breath. Your feet to the ceiling. Beautiful. Perfect. And then just taking a nice deep breath in through your nose. On the exhale, pulling your ankles a bit closer towards your chest. Perfect. Nice. You can pedal out your feet here as well if you'd like. So just bending your left knee, your right knee. Beautiful. And then you can sway side to side or rock it forward and back with your legs. Just feeling that stretch. Down the back of your legs, down the side of your legs. It's relaxing your body onto the carriage. Awesome. All right, just holding it here for one more breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, pull it closer. Beautiful. And then we're going to release the feet down onto the bar. We'll hold the ring in our hands and we'll place our heels onto the bar. If you don't have a ring, that's fine. Just reaching your arms to the ceiling or you can keep your arms down by your side. We're going to start off with a bridge. We're tucking the tailbone, slowly rolling our hips up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Slowly roll all the way back down to the carriage. Perfect. Tuck roll and lift to the ceiling keeping that carriage closed and then slowly rolling back down perfect we have four more like this making sure your knees are hip distance apart perfect three awesome i'm going to hold it up in two Amazing. Now, last one, lift your hips up nice and high. Hold it here. Squeeze the back of your leg so you're pulling the carriage towards the stopper. Hold it here. Left leg is going to lift up to the ceiling. Perfect. We're going to point the leg to the ceiling and we're going to lower that leg down towards the foot bar. Lift it back up to the ceiling. Great. We have four of these guys down and up. Three. Right up, good. Two. Perfect. Last one. Lift the leg to the ceiling and now little pulses up and up, pointing your toes like you're trying to touch the ceiling above you. Amazing. We've got four, three, two, one. Place your foot back down. Roll those hips down to the carriage. Perfect. Let's come straight back up, guys. We're lifting those hips up nice and high. This time the right leg is going to lift and then we point it up. Good. Keep squeezing the back of the leg. Lower that right leg down to the bar. Lift it back up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Four of these to go down and up. Three. Amazing. Two. Good work, guys. Last one, lift the leg to the ceiling and our little pulses up and down, up and up. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the leg and then lower those hips down to the carriage. Amazing. If you've got a ring, just pop it down onto the floor. We're gonna reach behind and grab our straps. We're gonna pop our feet into the straps with some legs in straps. So just pushing away from the bar, pop your feet into the long loops. And then once you're there, extend your legs up to the ceiling and then just relax your arms down by your side. Awesome, we're gonna lower our legs down to the floor and then lift back up to the ceiling. Perfect. Just straight up and down. Perfect. Keeping that tummy nice and tight. If you want, you can pop your hands on your hip bones. I like to pop it there to just give me that 
sense of feedback for what my belly and what my legs are doing. Good job, guys. Perfect. Four more like this. And then we're going to split into some circles down the bottom. How good is legs in straps, hey? <laughs> awesome. All right, last one. We come down to the floor. Split your legs wide, circle around and up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Nice big circles down. Circle out, around and up. Perfect. Nice big circles. Controlling your legs in those straps. Don't let your strings win. You want to go nice and slow, nice and controlled so you're feeling every part of your leg working. Like a 360 degree. Perfect. All right, four more circles in this direction. Then we're going to reach up to reverse it. Perfect. All right, this is the last circle, you guys. Circle up to the ceiling, stop it here. Perfect, split your legs out wide to the side, circle down to the foot bar, connect the bottom, draw a line back up the center. So split, circle, connect, and lift. Awesome. Good work, guys. Whew. I think after a while, you forget how much this does actually hurt. <laughs> you get past the relaxing part, and you really feel it. All right, three more circles, you guys. Perfect. Two. Awesome. Last one. Legs to the ceiling, hold it here. We wanna turn our feet out, keep our heels in, bring your legs halfway down. Perfect, we're gonna start with our froggy press. Bend your knees in, press your feet out. So knees come in, feet go out. Now here we wanna make sure we have a connection with the heels. So what you might notice is when you push your legs out, if your feet might kind of clap or, um, jump away from each other. You wanna press those heels into each other so you're really gluing the inner thighs together as you extend. Awesome, all right. Adding a second part into it. Next time you press out, hold it. Split your legs out nice and long, nice long legs. Squeeze it back to the center and then come back into your froggy press. Beautiful, extend, we open. We squeeze back to the center and then we bend. Amazing, out and split. Squeeze it back in, bend it back. Awesome. Alrighty guys, we have another four of these. Perfect, three. Two. Awesome. Last one. Hold the legs out. Perfect. V them out a little bit wider and our little pulses in and out. Really feel those inner thighs working here. Perfect. Out and in little pulses for eight, seven, six, five. We slowly bring it in in four, three, two. Open a little bit wider. Hold it. And now bring it in for five slow counts. Five, four, three, two. Meet to the center, bend your knees in and just have a little rest. Whew, my legs are shaking by the end of that. All right, take those straps off your feet. You can just drop the straps down or pop them back onto the hooks and then just wet your knees left to right. Awesome. Alrighty guys, we're gonna jump up. We're gonna get a little bit faster now. So we're gonna come up on to our feet and our hands. So hands on the bar, 
feet up against the shoulder pads. Um, for those of you who know what this is, this is our icebreaker. So we're going to lift the knees off the carriage. We're going to lean back. So your bum is almost hovering over the shoulder pads. Your back is nice and flat. Now, if you have a balanced body too, and you've moved your foot bar, just give your foot bar a bit of a shake. Um, so it's locked in because I've done it before and I've fallen forward over my reformer because the foot bar wasn't locked in. Okay, so feet against the shoulder pads, your hands are on the bar, you're leaning back slightly. Our icebreaker is a powerful movement for the leg. So we press the carriage out, we bring the carriage back in. We press out and in. So it's like we're pushing the foot bar away from us. We go out, we come in. Out and in. Nice work, guys. You want that bum leaning back a little bit more. So you're really pressing that foot bar away. Yes. Good correction, Grace. Beautiful. Keep going, guys. Nice. Squeeze your bum. I want you to really lengthen those legs. Awesome. If you've gone a little bit heavy, you can take off either the blue or the yellow. Perfect work, guys. We have got another 10. Nine, eight, seven. Awesome, let's go six. Keep up that pace. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in and carefully come onto your knees. Cool, we're gonna take off some springs now. So we're either light option, red, yellow, um, heavier option, red, blue. So we just want the two springs. Cool, we're gonna do that again, except a single leg. So I might give you a demo first and then we can jump into it together. So it's gonna feel a lot slippery up because you only have the two springs. So we step back, are we, sorry, we send our bottom back. We're gonna extend our right leg out. We bring the right leg in, press the left leg out. And then we swap it in and out. In and out. Piece of cake. <laughs> All right, so setting it up, we want our left foot against the shoulder block, the right leg extends, make sure the left knee is bent to set up. Good, now push the left leg out, bring the right knee in. Good, in and out. Yes, guys, so it's like a bicycle with the legs. Oh, you all look incredible. Keep going. Yes. Now try and slow it down a little bit more. You've got the heavy springs to support you here. Yes, let's go. Amazing. Let's go for seven. Six. Good. Five. Can we bring our bums in a little bit more? Beautiful. Three. Almost there, guys. Two. Last one, bring both of your feet on the carriage and just come down onto your knees. Whew. That was tough, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, just shake out the wrist. We're gonna break up the two sides with a little wheelbarrow. So both hands shoulder width apart on the bar. Your knees stay down, your feet against the shoulder blocks. Bring your hips forward towards the bar. Good, press the carriage all the way. Down the rails, slowly return it back in. Good, press it away, come back in. Perfect. Making sure those hips are down, you're pressing away nice and long. Good, we'll add some push-ups into this if you wanna advance it. So next time you come in, hold it halfway, bring your chest to the bar, press up, slide out. Beautiful, come forward, boobs to bar. We're all ladies, so I can say that. <laughs> and then press it out. Good. Down, up, slide it out. Good. We're going to go for four more of these, guys. Perfect. All right. We should be winding up with our last one. And then just bring in the knees in. Beautiful. Just shake out those wrists. We're going to do the single leg icebreaker on the other side. Um, and then we'll change up our springs before we finish off with one more exercise. So both hands on the bar. Let's come back up into that position. Send your bottom back. 
Right foot stays against the shoulder block. Left leg goes behind you. Great, now bring the left leg in, right leg goes out. In and out. Perfect. Good work, guys. You are killing this. This is a tough one. Amazing, now slow it down. Perfect, keep the bums down. Amazing, guys, let's go for five more. Four, oh, you look incredible. Keep going, guys, in and out, three, two, last one. And now both feet down, come on in, come onto your knees. Just give yourself a child's pose here. Reach forward, press down, and have a little rest.